Mark or Colbert, Speed Recovery okay, Finish Network. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have a pretty massive pothole um, in the driveway in front of my shop. So I picked up one of these Yard Max concrete mixers. We're just gonna play with this thing a little bit, see what it can do. Now, I'm not a concrete or driveway expert for a living. I do auto body and paint. As you guys can hear in the background, we got a little bit of body work going on behind us. However, I am a decent general handyman. I've done concrete work a couple times. I just want to see for a couple bucks if we can try and clean up this driveway. Okay, so concrete we're using, quick crete, high strength concrete mix. So I figured it'd probably be best to start with a little bit of water inside first before we go ahead and just dump in a bunch of dry concrete in there because if we dump a bunch of dry concrete in there first and we try and put water on top it's going to take a while for everything to get mixed together so we got a layer of water we're going to do a layer of concrete uh, and then another layer of water on top hit the button and we're going to mix up see how it does so far so good we still got a little bit of dry mix in there might add a little bit more water all right so it's looking pretty good not too wet but not too dry looks like it's moving pretty easy I think that's about the consistency we're looking for all right so here's the plan we have a as you guys see we can't really see that well on camera we have a serious low spot in there so we're gonna go ahead pour the concrete in we're probably gonna need a little bit more then we're going to use this flat sheet of OSB and we're going to drag it over top of that low spot and level it out. Once we got it mostly level, we're going to use our just our basic little concrete finishing tool here. Uh, smooth it out as good as we can and uh, see how she looks. close to wrapping this up honestly for 20 bucks in material I'm getting really happy see it's nice and level now I mean not perfect but that's pretty level we had a serious serious low spot that whole spot would fill up with water when it rained um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cure for about seven days take a sealer over all those edges so we kind of protect the edges so they don't chip up or anything. As far as getting your concrete to smooth out, I like to kind of just put the concrete on the ground, pour it out, and then I'll take a tiny bit of water, just a little bit, sprinkle it over it, and then take your finishing tool and just kind of spread it out like body filler. Just gonna take it out and just smooth it out. You really gotta work with this stuff and have patience with it, but you can get a nice smooth finish, see? Slowly take it over it, smooth. Have it finished product, not perfect. It's a really, really windy day. Had a bunch of crap, yep, more crap just blowing right in it. But that's okay, because we're gonna seal, we're gonna seal it so you're not even gonna see any of those different colors or anything like that. Now, the Yard Max, I gotta say, uh, is a powerhouse. It's a great mixer. This definitely makes doing concrete work um, that you're doing in excess of two or three bags. If you're doing more than two or three bags of concrete for a project, you, you have to have one of these. If I'm just mixing up a bag, or you guys at home are just mixing up a bag of concrete, yeah, you can grab a bucket, you can grab a wheelbarrow or shovel, but there's no way I'm mixing up, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, tens of ba bags of concrete uh, with a barrel and a shovel. This thing on average was mixing up, you know, a bag and a half, two bags of concrete in a few minutes, maybe 60 seconds, if you were nursing it enough with the water. So I gotta say, as far as the machine goes, thumbs up, and you guys learned how to do a just a quick DIY patch on an asphalt driveway. Do I think this repair is gonna last forever? Absolutely not. You are not supposed to really 
unless you have special bonding agents you're not supposed to put concrete over asphalt however if you're like me and you're just trying to buy yourself a couple years time out of a driveway this is a perfect perfect diy fix i have another little concrete patch over there in front of the shop that i did about six months ago and it's actually still holding up great if you guys want to see part two of this driveway restoration like subscribe i was mainly just doing a review on the mixer today but we are going to be doing a full video on the whole driveway you know surfacer um sealer everything like that fixing little cracks get it all on video so like subscribe new videos every week